那个 ，You played that boy。哎，哎哎，就是那 old girl， you know what I'm saying？ One take shorty， nigga。Going dumb every day， going dumb every night， wearing green shirt and white， and I'm so on my pipe。I got whatever you like， I got whatever you like， I got whatever you like， I got whatever you like。Going dumb every day, going dumb every night. Okay. Selling green, selling white, right. and I'm told my pipe. Okay. I got whatever right. you like, I got whatever you like, I got whatever you like, I got whatever you like. Going dumb every day. You see this? What's on his head? A hot dog. Hey. Nice, bro. Mm, oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoa, it's awkward. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were basketball fans. Yeah, Shep fans mostly. Cool. He's awesome, and at least with his mural, it's kind of like he's here, like as if he was playing on the team instead mm -hmm. of. Wait, hey, who'd they draft instead of Shep? Some loser whose name I can't even <laughs> remember. And it must be terrible to be that guy. Yeah, I'm sure it is, because that guy's really, really terrible. Yeah, think so? <laughs> I mean, but like, what if he uh, like surprised you or something? Just what if? Anything you need, bro. I mean, if you're shopping for a board, we do all our sales online. Just peep the socials. You can get links to the store there. No, 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 no. But uh, that excess piece of tape that you just cut off, you can just fold it up and uh, sand the side of your board until it's smooth. That's a good tip. So what? You skate? Is that... <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You know, I was actually hoping I can, you know, rock your brand and do a couple videos for you guys. Ooh, yeah. Our gear's for real skaters, not posers. Like you. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. Um, but what makes you think I'm a poser? Oh, uh, just like pretty much everything <laughs> from here to <laughs> here. You also got like a poser aroma. Yeah. Uh, Are you wearing a poser cologne or? Ooh, de poser? 
<laughs> oh. I bet you couldn't even ride in a straight you line. Got plenty. <laughs> All right, but how about this? I can show you, and then we can talk about what I can do for you. And now come I'm kind of in come the on. middle think of something. Think about I don't it. Wanna... It is a win-win. Either I'm legit, real skater, professional athlete rocking your brand, or I fall flat on my face and you guys still laugh at me. Mm. Think about it. That sounds pretty good, actually. I mean, we could film his faceplant and put it up on social. Epic wipeout from Epic Draft Buzz. Oh, I'm game. <laughs> Watch this. Not bad. No, it's not good either. So you can ride in a straight line. Who cares? We're all about personality. Okay, do you want me to express myself? Is that it? <laughs> oh, express yourself? What are you even talking about? You know what I mean. <laughs> can you be serious for a second? <laughs> no. All right, all right. It's fine. You show us what you can really do. Some tricks, grinds, right. things skaters actually care about, and then we could talk. Let's do it. That was burly, come on, dude. Come on, come on. 
I told you guys. I told you. <laughs> Those are bad. <laughs> well, no, Lance's mostly. Oh, oh, bro, it's all good, man. I got thick skin. Hey. Don't even worry about it. Hey, are you still into repping? You got a board for me? Yeah, Lance, give me your board. Like, forever? Hey, you act like we don't have a hundred of these in storage. <laughs> yeah, but this one's mine. Okay, it is just for a little while, you big baby. <sighs> now, here's what I'm thinking. You already I have plans? The... Mila says you guys are sharp. Who's Mila? Oh, it's my business manager. She loves your videos, by the way. Oh, smart woman. You know, she's also my girlfriend, too. Oh, <laughs> man. Okay. All right. So here's the plan. OK. We go around the neighborhood to some of our favorite spots. We film you doing some tricks, some grinds. We put it up on socials. It takes off. Mm -hmm. We consider taking down that chef mural. I get back the board when he's done, though, right? Yes, Lance, you get back the board. <laughs> OK, this could work. Ooh, How's that feel right. for you, MP? I'm stoked right now. Oh. <laughs> Stop! Look at you with that lingo. Uh -huh. No, just look for us around the neighborhood. We'll be ready to film whatever you're able to pull off. Deal? Deal. Let's get it. All right. Propel your performance on both ends of the court in a pair of new balance. MP, can you spare some time? I think you're really gonna like this.
Was that gnarly or what? Oh, you sound mad <laughs> old when you say that, but really? yeah, it was. Hey, we gotta edit these before we upload them to our channel, but it'll only take a day or two. All right. Really quickly, I just want to say thank you to the both of you guys. <laughs> like, seriously, you know, for giving me a shot. Aww. You know, it's a truly honor to be a part of this channel. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it. What are you gonna cry right now, old man? I do not think I want to see that. Look at, oh, look at you being a person. Look at you. Okay. I know. I'm proud of you. You get out of here before we change our minds. You're starting to give off some real chuggy energy. Well, we'll let you know when those videos go up. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy your date tonight, boss. I hear City View has the best duck l'orange in the city. And that's what I mean by a foundational mindset. Because your mindset becomes the foundation for all your future successes. Oh, right? is he doing? All your future building blocks will sit on your foundational mess mindset. And the strength of that mindset will determine how many He's levels going. of accomplishment you can support. Guys, this is so true. I'm so inspired. Oh. Are, are you guys all inspired? Yep. Nope. Opposite. The I'm opposite of inspired. I'm confused at that. He was reading the latest blog post from Peter Abbott. Is that someone I should know? Dude. Peter Abbott? Peter Abbott is a businessman in the city. Uh, uh, Mr. Abbott is so much more than a businessman. Yeah, he's also a peddler of drivel that a certain type of desperate, underachieving person finds motivating. Hey, Mr. Abbott is a thought leader who has changed my life. You literally just heard of him. And now I'm a changed man! All right, you did a Good. great job with Carl, proving that you're willing to help the community. And now, thanks to Tina and Lance... Ooh, oh, I love People so know that you're not pretending to be something that you're not. Yeah, you're moving the needle. And from what we've heard, Uncle Bobby has noticed. Mm -hmm. yep. Great. So let's set up a meeting then. Uh, well, like Mr. Abbott says, you sk can't skip rungs in the ladder of success. Uh, right, we're close, but not quite there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why do I feel like this is where Mr. Abbott comes into play, am I right? Yeah. Uh, by the way, dude sounds like a movie character, so. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking of Peter Rabbit? Yes. Rabbit? Have you seen that movie too? All right, fuck? say what you will about his name and his blog. The man runs a very, very I'm successful marketing stars. consulting firm. Hey, 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 more importantly, the man gets like-minded individuals to become successful leaders. Okay. Through his insightful lectures and his daily inspirational no, posts. The main thing is that he's the exact type of person that Uncle Bobby respects. Okay. That's what matters. And we want you to meet him, you know, learn from him. Absorb some of that essence. Don't do that Let's again. not do that. Yeah. Let's just meet him, okay? And we'll just start building a relationship. There's get just no absorbing today. Yeah. Just just get in good with Peter Abbott, and Uncle Bobby will roll out the red carpet for you. Yep. And once you do that, you'll begin your ascent up the corporate ladder of positive manifestation. Mm. Okay, and the Uncle Bobby thing, too. Well, it could be both. Stop. It could be both. It can be both. Let's reconvene after you've spoken with him, and we'll see where we're at. Feeling inspired. <laughs> Woo! Do was, not was sign any papers that say absorb. That was a movie, though? Don't do it. I don't know. I don't watch movies. Beatrix Potter.
told you we'd have a good time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this was great. This was great. Good. Hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for blowing up on you the other day. This is just, it's really hard for me to deal with. You know, it's too much at times. I know, but you don't have to figure it out alone. You've got a whole team just here to support you. There's nothing to figure out, though. Like, we go wherever they send me. That's how this league works. You serious? Mila, what other choice do I have? I... Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm on my rookie contract. We can literally go wherever they send me. Unless you fight. Well, like Ricky said... No, not like Ricky said. Ricky and Ashley want you to wage war in the press. I just want you... To be you. Yeah, well, me being me is what got me here. No, I want you to be the best version of you on the court. Make it impossible for Othello to trade you without looking like a fool. What do you think I'm doing? Giving half effort? Mila, I am working myself to the bone I, I right know, now. I know, I just, I think it's time to work a little harder. The MP that I fell in love with would not just roll over and give up like I'm this. I'm not giving up. That's not what I'm doing. Then take your heels in. I mean, you said you wanted to start a family here. Did you mean that? Of course I meant that. This is where I want... Thank, Thank you, sir. You. This is where I want to be. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, well, if you want it, fight for it. If you have anything left in the tank, it's time to give it. I've seen you overcome impossible odds before, MP. Have you forgotten about college already? No, I have not forgotten about college. Then dig deep. Do it again. I know it's in you. I mean, do you want to stay or not? Yes. Are yes, you sure? I want to stay. Okay. Okay, but I don't think this whole good soldier routine is the way to go. I am trying my hardest out there, and if that's not enough already, okay. then I don't know. Okay, I hear you. I think you should think about it, because I'm just saying, as your girlfriend, the sabotage routine is not you. And what about as my business manager? What does she think? I don't know. You should weigh your options, I think. You can talk to Ricky and Ashley. I'm sure they have more details about their plan if you, if you want. Yeah. I'll definitely need to think on this one. Take your time. When you're ready, we can talk about it as a team.
Hey, stay focused in your workout today. I get serious. Come on. You'll get the next one. your mind right. Yes, easy work.
Again. Again. Shot, shot, shot. good enough for the city league but it's not gonna cut it here come on man you could do better than that I can't even watch this.
I want to talk to you about what's going on with Othello. What do you mean? Word travels fast in this business. <laughs> so you want to give me a pep talk? Sorry your life's going down the toilet. Hang in there, kiddo. Not exactly. But I'll tell you one thing, you're not going to accomplish anything by feeling sorry for yourself. Life's not fair. So what? Get over it. You know, you have a very interesting bedside manner, might I add? I'm not your best friend, MP. I'm not here to coddle your ego. I'm here to put the best team possible on the floor, and I can't do that if you get shipped out because you gave up. Who said I'm giving up? I'm not allowed to be upset? You're allowed to be upset. But you need to channel that energy in a positive way. Play like your life depends on it and make it impossible for Othello to trade you. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done. All right, look. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. I've been in this game a long time. And I didn't get to where I'm at by playing games. When, when you're where you're at, there's a temptation to try to play things out in the press. All right, well, that might work for the top 1% of players in the league. But for everybody else, it backfires. I'm not saying you don't have that kind of talent, but it's too early in your career to pull that kind of power play. All you can do is produce, and I can help you produce. You just gotta trust me. Coach, I trust you. I just don't think I'm good enough. I mean, right now, I feel like my only choice is to get my hands dirty. That's not who you are, MP. No disrespect, Coach, but how do you know that? I'm only 21 years old. I don't even know who I am yet. Not fully. How do you know that's not me? Look, I can't tell you what to do. You're your own person, and you gotta make your own decisions. All I can do is give you my perspective. What you do with it, that's up to you. I can respect that. And I promise you, if you do this the right way, I'll do everything in my power to help you to succeed. But if you want any help with the other way, I can't do anything for you. I... I hear you, Coach. That's totally fair. Good. Now go out there and prove Othello wrong. A lot of focus on the guard matchup tonight, Greg. Both these teams rely on their backcourts to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Garland is out there with Mitchell. And it's G in at the three spot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and First, first team foul. First team foul. 
Yeah, doing it in the Mecca. Sold out arena. The previous two record holders there. December 15th, 2021. A great day in the career of Steph Curry. The history of the NBA. Now, here's Garland. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Mobley. And the layup's good off the glass. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on D. Seal him off or Evan. Look, this man is going to punish you on that glass. Curry against Garland. Wiggins with it. Playing Sacramento. He was nearly unstoppable. As to Green. Allen with the rebound. And here are the Cavaliers. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. Going into the first game of the season, he said, we have to attack them inside and in transition. See how that works out. If they don't adjust, we're going to keep pressing. It seems like a good idea, considering his explosive team that he has. Back to you. Thanks so much, David. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. The Warriors making the shot. And it's Allen with the jam. When you combine his length and leaping ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. As to Wiseman. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Mobley. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. And Thompson kicks to Green. Shot clock at six. Curry fires from way outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. They get it again. A nice shot by Mobley. Mobley's got his second basket of the night. The nice touch from the interior. Mobley looks very comfortable shooting from there. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Wiggins against Mitchell. Out to the wing. Here's G. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Getting better at recognizing when his teammates are open. Garland, great time right there. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. Now, here's Green. He points his last outing. And here is Garland. G, no good. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. The right GA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton, they nailed just about it. trailing the core of this team all out there curry and thompson in the backcourt with green at the four coming out there with james weisman that's the group for the golden state warriors to start the second quarter now weisman on the pass to kuminga curry dishes to thompson outside green Curry on the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches it. Love grabs the board. And Love's got the ball here for Cleveland. Here's G. Love trying to break loose. And he hits it from deep. Three points there from G. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Count it. And the Cavalier lead has been cut down to just three in the basket from Curry. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. I admire Thompson's toughness. Gets it from his dad and from his mom. 
Yeah, his mom played volleyball in college. His dad was the first overall pick in 1978. Played in the league for 13 seasons. You know what that's called? Good genetics. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, Kevin. Of course, the Warriors' offense stands out for its emphasis on ball movement. Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. G.A., thanks. Now, Green, after the miss three from G. Lock at six. Green finds Thompson. It's deflected. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. And that one drops. Mobley's got the lead up to six now for the Cavs. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Curry outside. And no good that time. And Cleveland the other way now. And after this run, they're home against Minnesota. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. That's good. He's five for nine. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Here's G. Coming in off a 21-point game, his last outing. Mobley misses. Warriors trail by four. Green left side. Outside curve. Back to Green. Stolen by Garland. Passes it to G. 151 left to play here in the half. Love with the screen on Thompson. The wide open look here for Garland. Offline with his three. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, their last game a loss to the Kings in Sacramento. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not. for the first half. Fairly even back. Welcome to this early season edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Before we analyze that first half, we get to check out the power rankings. And Shaq, as a player, did you ever And next up, Let's take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, who seem pretty well matched in their game. So far, they're the more physical team. They came in here with an aggressive game plan. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Curry has been sensational. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Mitchell is out there with Garland. And it's G in at the three, the small forward. Hey, Richard, for a while, teams went small. Uh, they became quicker. Now we're seeing some teams go big, playing two, sometimes three seven-footers in the lineup. It's amazing. Yeah, there's always a pendulum swing. Once it goes too small, then all of a sudden the pendulum swings back, and now everyone is looking for size. But you have to have size that can also stretch the floor because teams need guys that can rebound. That's what they're looking for. And that one's good by G. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Weisman, the pass to Wiggins. Over Mobley. 
And it's off the back rim. No good. See, that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. G dishes to Mobley. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Green finds Wiseman. And Curry has it in the corner. Curry with another miss. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. They lead by one. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. Here's Curry. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Mitchell passes to G. Nails the baby hook. G's got the game tied up here for Cleveland. And with the ball in his hands, Mitchell attracts attention, then breaks down the defense with the pass. And that one's good. Wiggins. They've given up a lot of three. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Pass to Mobley. Looking for Garland. He gets it there. Mobley sets the pick for Garland. To take the lead, Mobley trying to free himself up. This is the high-impact D we expect from Green, an intelligent defender who can find these blocks. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Wiseman's out there with Wiggins, so that's the group out there for Golden State. Such a wide-open look. And a breakdown here, guys, the hustle stats for the Warriors. The Cavaliers trail by four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Arlen kicks to Allen. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one. Rise in strength of Allen is sometimes overwhelming for defenses, even when they try to rough him up. Jared Allen has become a cornerstone of this Cleveland Cavalier team. He plays on both sides of the ball with such intensity. Green deciding where to go with it. To the inside. Stolen by Mitchell. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's G. Guarded by Green. Pass to Mitchell. Just four to shoot. To take the lead. Wiseman with the rebound. And talking about Jared Allen, he sure has improved his offensive numbers in recent years. Yeah, the average in scoring just keeps going up, averaging a double-double three of the last four seasons. Impressive young center to keep your eyes on. Here's Thompson. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got three assists now in this one. Garland dishes to G. Mobley the pass to G. 
The Cavaliers again can't hit. Warriors leading by three. It's deflected. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Mitchell right side. G passes to Mobley. Ireland with it. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And the shot is good. 16 points for G. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. He finds Weisman. No good that time. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. The pass to G. And here is Mitchell. They set the pick to take the lead. Krill's the three-pointer. Mitchell's got five points in the quarter. I see the ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. Green with a screen on Garland. Her. It counts. A huge shot to tie it up. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Thompson for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. The defense just giving him the... Mitchell dishes to Mobley. To the wing right side. To the middle. It falls! And big-time bucket there. They've got him. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Curry. For the win. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. So it's an arrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. A really an accomplishment and crazy finish to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in.
Catch me catching plays. Okay. Catch me serving jazz. Okay. It's trying to dog tank. For real. Rocking with that thing. Bah. I'll let it bang. Bah. You make bullets rain. Just like Matt Payne. Stuck in the game. Hey. Green or cocaine. Okay. I be serving things. For real. I got everything. Okay. Serving hand to hand. And it takes me on the man. On the man. So much motherfucking swag they don't understand. Oh, you get but I got a plan. Wanna be what? bigger than Lil Wayne? Hey, I ain't gon' flop like no Lil Zane. No. It's Tay Gully, bitch. Hey. Let me in the game.